The media reported that a Vietnam vet and Native American elder, Nathan Phillips, heroically stood between an angry mob of white students and a group of black men. But the unfact checked story caused so much confusion and anger that I myself was blocked on Facebook for simply requesting facts. So I decided to make this video to hopefully open some people's eyes. I'm Matt Orfala, and here are five lies the media spread about Nathan Phillips and the Covington Catholic High School students. Lie number one, the students were taunting black people. They originally started by taunting a, a group of African Americans. Not only did the students not taunt the African American group known as the Black Hebrew Israelites, it was the Black Hebrew Israelites who hatefully taunted the students and everyone else. You will burn in the lake of fire with everybody in America. That's right. They preached hatefully at the Native Americans. You still worship the totem poles. Niggas are crazy. A damn buffalo can't save you. They spewed hate at Catholics. Like this child molesting fat right. priest right there. Right. They were blatantly sexist. Where's your husband? Bring your husband here. Let me speak to him. This is the problem, Israel. There's always our women coming up with a loud mouth because they're not used to dealing with no real men. They were also blatantly homophobic. On the back of your dollar bill, it says, in God we trust, but you <laughs> give faggots rights. When people at the Indigenous People's March started taking issue with their hateful speech, <laughs> In textbook, demagogic fashion, they deflected that outrage by appealing to everyone's prejudice against people wearing Trump hats. You got these pompous bastards over there wearing Make America Great hats again. Why you're not? Why you're not after them? Lord Billy, why you're not angry at them? Why you're not angry at them? Why you're not angry at them? corny ass Billy Bob. You got all these dirty ass crackers with a red Make America Great hat again. On, and your coon ass, you wanna fight your brother. You little dirty ass crackers, your day coming. Yeah, I will stick my foot in your little ass. The law said he had a perpetual hatred. Who's he speaking about? You so called white people. Won't you uncover that hat? See how you got these pompous bastards come down here with they dirty ass hat on? Little dusty ass animals. After over an hour of taunting, the students joined together and responded not with hate, but with high school sports chants. Yeah. 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 Look at this fool yeah. This guy think he's so Look at this You serious? Even though the students had only responded with high school chants and everyone was laughing, Nathan Phillips insists the students were hateful to the African Americans. When the youth encountered the black Israelites, they responded hate with hate. Lie number two, the students were harassing Native Americans. Teens in Make America Great Again hats harassing a Native American elder. A disturbing viral video shows a group of teens harassing Nathan Phillips. They originally started by taunting a, a group of African Americans. They moved over to, to Nathan Phillips. This young fella put himself in front of me and wouldn't move. He and others were harassed and taunted by students from Covington Catholic High School. A young man got right in his face. When one looks at the full video, it's revealed that the actual story was the complete opposite. Nathan Phillips walked directly into the students and up to Mr. Sandman. All over mainstream and social media, people interpreted Sandman's smile as disrespectful. He's got the smug look on his face. Boy, you get your narrow ass out of the way of that old man and show some respect. That's what my parents would say to me. Everyone that sees that smug look wants to punch that kid. Despite all the opinionated interpretations of Sandman's face, it's worth noting much of the time he's not smirking but just standing there as the Native American man beats a loud drum right beside his head and yells in his face. Still, the media mob refused to believe the student was anything but an asshole. That fucking kid, what a little prick. <laughs> He's like, I was trying to defuse the situation. You were trying to defuse shit, man. Even though Sandman can be seen trying to calm down his classmate, who was being yelled at for being white. You white people, go back to Europe where you came from. This is not your land. You've been here two, three generations. Compared to us, we've been here a million fucking years. So. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. What do you mean not true? You be white, you be white. You be the white man of fire. That's all you need to do. 
how to do it. Phillips says students taunted him with build that wall chants. I heard them saying build that wall, build that wall. And the media cited that as evidence of harassment. But even with all the cameras recording the incident, no such chant can be found. And the media finally acknowledged that in follow-up stories. So far, no video evidence has emerged supporting his claims. Students were accused of mocking Phillips for chanting and dancing. But they were doing that even before Phillips arrived. Some say they were offended by the students' tomahawk chops, but that's its own controversy and is nothing compared to the extremely serious, unfounded character attacks the media and Phillips made against the students. Lie number three, the students were dangerous, angry racists. Philip says he immediately sensed danger. There was a group of over 200 young, angry white men. When I went in front of that mob and what appeared to be their prey, all that hate and anger transferred to me. When I was there and I was standing there and I seen that group of people in front of me and I seen the angry faces and, and all of that, I, I realized I had put myself in a really dangerous situation. Just before I started that song, my prayer was, God help me witness what's going on here. God protect us. I was absolutely afraid. All that anger and all that wanting to have the freedom to just rip me apart, you know, that was scary. They were angry. They were... <sighs> they, they got to a point where it was... Um, it was scary. In the hours of footage, the teenage students are seen confused, laughing, smiling, and dancing, but definitely not angry. Nevertheless, in addition to painting the teenagers as a dangerous, angry mob, Phillips and the media called them racists. I know you've seen a lot of racism, but were you surprised to see it coming from such a young generation? Yes. Creator put me there to stand between white and black racism. Jesus Christ is not a white man. He's a man of color. The white people were shouting racist things. This ain't Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ be perfect. We don't give a fuck. No, he's not perfect. The students display blatant hate, disrespect, and intolerance. I don't shake your hand. Look I don't shake your hand. I wish I could say to these students, there's no place for this in our society. They were exhibiting nothing but contempt and scorn. This behavior is a opposed to the church's teachings on the dignity and respect of the human person. Yo, when you went to shake my hand, if I had a bounty in my hand, I would throw it at you. And the images were the same images that I seen in pictures of young white people surrounding a black youth trying to eat at a counter. The same faces that were on the crowds of those youth at D.C. was the same faces of, of the youth that were surrounding the young black woman who was trying to get an education and the scorns and the scowls that they were on the pictures there. After comparing these rowdy, dancing teenagers to actual racists, Phillips went on to compare the kids to murderers. When you see pictures of lynchings, the same faces on the folks that were doing the lynchings, that's what these young people's faces look like. When I put myself in front of that crowd, and I sang that song, it was with that thought that somebody could have stood in front of that crowd that murdered Raymond Thunder. If somebody could have been in front of Lieutenant Kelly at some time in his life and say, you're going down the wrong path. Lie number four, Vietnam War veteran. Um, I don't talk much about my Vietnam times. The Marine Corps says Phillips was in the service for four years, but never served in Vietnam. But several times on camera and in print, Phillips blatantly misrepresented his service. I'm a Vietnam vet. And even uploaded photos of Vietnam veteran medallions on his Facebook page. Myself, I'm a Vietnam veteran. Vietnam vet. Vietnam veteran. The media propagated the lie that he was a Vietnam vet without ever asking for verification, giving his face-off story with the MAGA kids an aura of credibility that it never deserved. A Vietnam veteran. Vietnam War veteran. A Vietnam vet. Vietnam War veteran. A veteran of the Vietnam, Vietnam War. Thank you. Yes. Lie number five, running from the police. The students were waiting for their buses for over an hour. Are the buses here yet? Where are the buses? When the buses finally arrived, the students were eager to go home. Let's go home! Let's go home! Let's go home! 
What broke this up is someone calling to the student saying their bus was there. That's what pulled them away. Well, apparently, but at the same time when they all exited there in mass, running away, moments after they ran away, a squad of uh, uniformed officers showed up. So in my mind, um, well, yes, they could say they're running to the bus, but if you look at it from another angle, they're running from the police. To suggest the students who did nothing illegal were running from the police is disturbingly delusional. And when the police did show up 15 minutes later, the black Hebrews confirmed they never felt threatened by the students. We wasn't threatened by them. It was, it was, a, it was okay dialogue. Sometimes okay. stuff get like that. Right. So. I understand. I'm not a fan of Donald Trump, but I think this story is an important reminder to not rush to judgment and to be mindful that the media, activists, and even people in our own social networks can be just as big race-baiting, demagogic, lying assholes as the current president. I'm Matt Orfala. Thanks for watching. Let's save the Lord. Let's save the Lord. What the hell? We surrounded by demons. What the hell is going on here? Peace circle. I... Now this is a peace circle. Kumbaya. Man. Kumbaya. Ain't gonna be no peace until blood is shed.